I think that the general expectation is that there is an opening for reinvigorating the, the French-German axis. Uh, certainly from Germany, they have, an, they have a sense that they lost a partner in Europe and that perhaps a new partner would give them uh, renewed, renewed hope uh, to, to, to further Eurozone reform. But it would very much come down to a French initiative. And there, I, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic in the sense that I think for now, probably the modal outcome is we will get a Macron presidency with a center-right prime minister, uh, which should help him, uh, I guess, put some reforms into place, even though, you know, even with 40% with support, uh, you know, the opposition, uh, perhaps led by Le Pen, can be a constraint on this. But under the assumption that Macron governs with a center-right, uh, center-right-led coalition, if you, if you will, I'm somewhat constructive on the outlook in France, uh, and then perhaps in a year's time, we can talk about some issues in Europe that I'm sure will come up later uh, a bit more, but the buck has to start with, uh, with France afterwards, and I think that the parliamentary elections in June uh, there are, are clearly critical even after this second round.